Dustin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth. How's it going today? Hope everything is good. All right, enough stalling. Let's get started here. I want to talk about four things. I could really do probably 50, but I want to talk about four things that I see people doing wrong when it comes to their retirement investing. The first thing, and I really need to get clear about this. I want to help you guys get better at this, but the first thing that I see people do wrong is they randomly throw money into a retirement account which is good, they know they're supposed to, but they don't know what they're actually doing. What does that random amount of money equate to in the future? Is it enough? Is it too much? You know, maybe you're contributing too much. You don't need to add more. I'm like the only advisor that will ever tell you, you can invest too much for retirement. But here's the thing, whatever the number is, make sure it means something. Are you investing because you saw our video, $72 turns into a million plus in retirement, if that's the case, then you know why you're saving that 72, if you fit that profile in that study. If your number is $50, why? Why is it $50 a week or $20 a week? So that's the first thing. I see people just randomly throwing money in there, not really knowing what they're supposed to do. The second mistake I see people make, and this is in no order by the way, is the age that they think they'll retire. The younger kids that call say, I'm not retiring when I'm 67, so you might as well just put that age up to 77 because I know I'm gonna work, I love my job, I'm gonna do whatever I want. Uh, you're probably wrong. <laughs> so I work with a lot of people of different ages. I live in Florida, so I get a chance to see a lot of 65 and over crowd, and they all don't wanna work. Every one of them wants to enjoy their life. Their bodies, their minds start telling them, go have fun, your time is limited. And that may be a sad thing to say, but that's what people feel. And I get to see this all around Florida. So assume you will retire early, plan as if you will retire early. If you do continue to work into your 70s, good for you, you'll be that much better off. But let's plan for retiring early, just in case what we all see going on around us with people that are over 65, happens to you. All right, the third thing, and I think I put this in a video before, I've done so many videos, I'm kind of losing track here, but um, I see this happen a lot. This is where people open the retirement accounts. They get started, they put money in, they manage it themselves, which is more than fine. I hope you choose us here at Jazz Wealth eventually, but you can manage it yourself. When people do that, I inevitably get a phone call that says, hey, Dustin, invested in something, not going very well, what do I do about it? Unfortunately, there's not much you can do. You can take the loss, you can hold, you can do whatever, but investing with the crowd will always leave you behind. And think about what that means. That does not make any sense for someone to say, but going with the crowd will always leave you behind. There's no way you will be at the front of the pack on whatever it is you're investing in. Bitcoin, pot stocks, um, there's a lot of great ones actually that are gonna be coming out. It will be the next wave of all the excitement I already see it happening. Now the media will catch attention and all of a sudden there'll be a next thing that comes out. I will uh, maybe do a video and venture some of my guesses so we can see. But don't invest with the crowd. Retirement investing is basically boiled down to a simple math model. We can invest exactly how you want to grow. If you wanna grow aggressively and try to beat the market, we can do that. If you wanna grow in line with the market, you don't even maybe need me, you can do it yourself, but we can do that. If you wanna participate in about half of whatever the market does, we could do that. If you wanna participate in some fraction, we could do that as well. So don't invest randomly with the crowd. Invest for the actual, what your goal is in the future. What is it that you need? Let's invest for that. Let's not invest in the sexy you know, term of the week or whatever. All right, the final thing that I see people make huge mistakes on, and I'm gonna go on both sides of this one here, is people that worry about fees and then people that never question the fees, okay? There are some people that just join us here at Jazz Wealth, don't even ask me what I charge. If I didn't have a conscience, <laughs> I could charge them so much more and they would never even question it. Then we have people that call us and they wanna know every last little detail about our fee. They want it broken down for them for their initial contribution and everything and that's okay. I'm saying both of those people are wrong. So if you are worried about fees, first of all, there's nothing wrong with shopping, okay? But if you're worried about every last little dollar in everything you do, you will always get the cheapest, most inexpensive product that's probably not the best. A good example would be if you're going to get new furniture and you go to Ikea, they got great deals there, you gotta put it all together and it probably won't last very long. 
That doesn't mean you need to go to some high-end furniture store or drive up to North Carolina and handpick the custom-made furniture. There's got to be a middle point, right? So we don't want the cheapest, least expensive offering out there. On the other side, we have the people that never question their fees. I cannot tell you how many 401ks I've looked at for people where they were, make, they were being charged three, four, five, and 6% a year on their 401k, had no idea. They just were like, it wasn't growing, it had a bad year, no big deal. That's a little concerning, right? There is such a thing as a ridiculous fee, right? Now, at Jazz Wealth, our fees are on our website and we leave it that way so you can determine if that's a value to you. Our fees don't change. They go down as you grow, but we don't change them randomly and we'll never invest you in something that costs you money. We also don't have trading commissions so we can buy and sell as much as you need. If you contribute every week, it doesn't hurt you personally. So the point of this part of this is you need to be somewhere in the middle. Don't pick on every single penny to the point where when you're shopping, nobody wants to deal with you. They don't want to work with you. When someone calls me and I spend 10 minutes trying to explain our fee, I usually say you're probably better off over at a couple of other places. They may have more what you're looking for fee wise, not being mean, just saying it seems that they want the lowest possible fee. On the other end, don't let people take advantage of you. If you don't check your 401k, are you checking your cable bill, your cell phone bill, when the auto mechanic tells you you need a new alternator, but that alternator is $2,500? Do you even question that? So there's gotta be something in the middle. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you enjoyed. Do me a favor, check out this video over here. I wanna show you how to take the fear out of retirement investing. That video will completely take all of your fear out of retirement investing forever. No questions asked, so check it out.